Jesus H. Christ on a chopstick. This is Barry Gordy's The Last Dragon. The Last Dragon isn't just a movie. It's a neon-drenched fever dream straight from the cocaine-fueled nightmares of a disco-loving kung fu master. I am no master. You sure look like a master to me. Our hero's on a quest to become The Last Dragon, which sounds like a bad Chinese takeout special, but is apparently some martial arts mumbo-jumbo that makes you glow like a radioactive firefly. Out the power of the glow. Enter Shonuff, the Shogun of Harlem, a villain so flamboyantly over the top, he makes Liberace look like an Amish farmer. This peacocking maniac struts around in shoulder pads that would make an NFL linebacker blush, spouting one-liners that'd make Shakespeare roll in his grave. Little Pop thinks he's a kung fu master. Director Michael Schultz must have been mainlining Pixie Sticks and PCP when he cooked up this visual acid trip. The fight scenes look like a spastic ballet choreographed by a dyslexic octopus, all set to a soundtrack that'll make your ears bleed glitter. I don't want you to kill anybody. Are you out of your mind? This isn't cinema, folks. It's a kung fu disco hallucination. A roundhouse kick to sanity's solar plexus. The Last Dragon is the cinematic equivalent of snorting crushed Skittles off a Bruce Lee poster while Animal from the Muppets plays the drums on your skull. So grab your nunchucks and strap in, you degenerates. And prepare for a beautiful disaster. This is Barry Gordy's The Last Dragon. Oh.